What was the best Surfshark update in 2022? Also, this feature is now powered by the Nexus technology. Let's discuss. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Surfshark Academy. Well, we did it. We made it through 2022. And before we get into this month's episode, I just wanted to thank you all for helping us reach 10,000 subscribers. I actually can't believe how much this channel has grown. So thank you for supporting by watching, liking, and subscribing and also commenting because I love interacting with all of you. But now, as per usual, let's go over all the updates that happened over the course of December and January here at Surfshark. First, let's talk about Multihop. Now, if you don't know what Multihop is, it's a special Surfshark VPN feature which allows you to connect through not just one, but two different VPN servers. Sometimes Multihop is also referred to as double VPN due to the way it works. So for example, normally when you pick a location from the main list in the app, you connect to just one server, which works well and is secure. However, if you ever feel like you need even more security and privacy, then multi-hop is the way to go. To access it, just click on the multi-hop section here and you will get a list of pre-made location pairs. With this latest update, you can now access dynamic multi-hop and create your own location combo. Click on create here at the bottom and first select your entry location through which your initial connection will go through. After that, pick your exit location, which will be visible online. And just like that, you've created your very own custom multi-hop connection. If you want, you can also delete location pairs and only have the ones that you really need. The feature is already available for iOS users with the 3.8 version of the app and will gradually be enrolled for Android, Windows, and macOS over the next few weeks. So go update your app and give it a try. Next, we need to talk about this camera on your computer that's staring at you 24 seven because the latest Surfshark macOS update for Surfshark antivirus now features webcam protection. As the name suggests, it will block all apps access to your webcam unless you specifically allow it. For this feature to work, you will need to have an active Surfshark 1 subscription. However, I think it's well worth it because hacking your webcam is easier than you think. Camfecting is the practice of hacking webcams online and it can happen in various ways, but the most common is through fake apps. So this additional protection will have your back and protect you if need be. As I've said, it's currently available on macOS and it will be coming to Windows very soon. Finally, I can take off that piece of paper that kept me safe for years. Let's now talk about some of the platform specific updates, starting with the Surfshark Windows app version 4.6.0 which made improvements to the kill switch. The strict kill switch feature will now work even if your computer restarts by accident or you unintentionally get logged out out of the Surfshark app. This can happen due to your computer running out of battery or even if your cat decides to jump on your desktop PC and press the power button. No joke, that actually did happen to me more than a couple times. Anyway, it's great to see the kill switch getting better. The update also fixed a lot of bugs and added performance improvements to make the app feel smoother. Installing the Surfshark Linux app just became a lot easier. The latest update made it so that all you have to do to install the app is just to open up the terminal by pressing Control, Alt, and T keys on your keyboard, and then just pasting in this line of code for the app to fully install. So hey, if you're still running OpenVPN manual connection on Linux, then this is a good time to jump on the app and give it a try especially since it has been getting some really nice updates these past few months. Finally, let's talk about Incogni because it too had a big update recently. Incogni now supports the removal of personal info from over 180 data brokers. This includes people's search sites, which are the worst kind as they allow anyone to find extensive profiles contact details, and even background information about anyone in the US. Later, that info can be used by stalkers, scammers, well, you name it. So this is definitely a good time to also try Incogni if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And now it's time for our community poll of the week. In case you missed it, we do various community polls related to Surfshark, CyberSec, and Tech Daily on our channel. So make sure to cast your vote when a new poll is released. Today's poll is all about asking you which 2022 Surfshark update you consider to be the best. When I look back on the previous year, I really have to say that it was the best year for Surfshark updates. Just to give you a timeline summary, the year started out strong with the release of Incogni, a new product from Surfshark to help you you delete your personal information collected by data brokers. Then in February, the IP rotator feature came out. Built on the Nexus technology, it allows you to rotate your IP within a connected country. 
In May, we had the release of the Linux GUI app. This update was heavily requested as it allowed Linux users to connect without having to use the terminal. Moving over to August, the manual WireGuard connection was released, which allowed users with supported routers to reach amazing VPN speeds. October was also huge, as during that month, Surfshark finally reached the 100 VPN countries mark. And to finish 2022, we obviously had my personal favorite update, and that is CleanWeb 2.0. So out of all these updates, which one did you guys like the most? Now, unfortunately, YouTube polls only allow me to set up five different options, so I had to stick with just that. But drum roll, please. The best Surfshark update, according to you, the community, was 100 VPN countries. To be honest, not surprised by that, as the bread and butter of VPNs are the servers. However, the race was very close as IP rotator feature and manual WireGuard connection were only around 10% behind. All in all, again, 2022 was a great year for Surfshark updates. And if you have any further thoughts about Surfshark and maybe what you would like to see in 2023, let us know in the comments below. But that'll be all for me. Take care.